Hey guys, welcome to Is It Tuesday podcast with Chris Cavallari. That was good. I'm just getting really good at this thing. But listen. Welcome. Welcome back. I just wanted to fill in all the new people. Um, I won't be such a narcissist and say that you know who I am or what Is It Tuesday means. I know that wasn't your motherfucking phone. This like a funeral. That was so, and I'm not, we're not even, we're not. You can, you can cut you walking by. <laughs> life be life in. Life be life in. We, we can keep it rolling though. We're not. Let me make sure we're fine. Okay. We're good here. Let's talk about what is it Tuesday is. We will definitely not make it like um, everybody knows you don't know. Um, I am a mother of two. Technically, one, because the first is 21. And I just feel like she's an adult child. So now I'm just her, um, like, hey, girl, I, I don't really got to do like, I mean, I do, but not really. Like, she, I don't have to wipe her ass or fix her nothing to eat. But um, I'm a mother of two and a four-year-old, soon to be five-year-old. So is it Tuesday? came from being just like every other mother, uh, stressed, working, trying to balance a social life and parenting and just maybe a little pinch of depression or postpartum, whatever. It's just a whole bunch of shit, right? We got to juggle. You, you're changing your tampon with a toddler on your lap. Um, you have to go to work and your daughter is posting crazy shit on Instagram or you're looking for your shoes and you can't find them because she's grown and she took them with her on a trip to Miami. Like it's just life literally be life and right. So Tuesday started becoming my safe space, like my self-care. And I know a lot of us, I'll, I'll go deeper into my self-care, but I know a lot of us right now are practicing self-care. I uh, I think it's amazing. I think it's great to start giving yourself what you need and then pouring from that glass, like the aftermath, like the backwash. Motherfuckers cannot get the first pour because then you'll really be 10 seconds away of jumping off a bridge, right? And this is not, this is not um, something that I take lightly. So you have to pour equally um only after you've pulled poured into yourself fully life is good life is good but mental health is very um very real and our community and we do not talk about it so although my is a tuesday for people that may know what it is to me um on social media it looks like wine and dancing and it looks like vacations for 24 hours or just something right that was the end of it that's like the that's like the after you graduate, like my self-care on that Tuesday came after being in a situation that wasn't the healthiest mentally, um, just not having clear boundaries for everybody, family, business, um, relationships, everything. No one's exempt from that uh, boundary thing. We're going to talk about that too. Um, it came from just feeling like I wasn't doing enough or am I doing too much or where you're, where you're doing too much, it's not being reciprocated. So it just came from literally being on the edge. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I say it all the time. I was depressed at a point. I suffer from anxiety. Um, thank God that hasn't been the case for the last like maybe two years. I'm going to say a year and a half because that first six months still was fucking me up. The first six months, it was a lot of shadow work. It was a lot of sitting alone and in my thoughts and sitting still. And when I say sitting still, it means I'm not calling someone every time I have a, you know, little inconvenience of a, a or a trigger. That's what we'll call it. Every time I had a trigger, I had to work through it on my own. It was not something that was public right and not even in my regular life so I just started doing small things meditating waking up early going to the gym working out and not working out for a fitness goal like oh I want to lose 20 pounds but just working out to blow off that stress and that steam um having a new child after 
The first one is damn near not really out the door because your kids are never out the door, but they're you're out of that area of wiping ass and feeding and getting up and doing this. Like at this point, she's 16 when I had my son. So I was almost like, bitch, you, oh girl, you good. You could just you can you can live your life now. And that's what we hear as mothers all the time. Like, stop what you're doing. Stop, drop, and roll. This is the only thing that matters. And when you're taught that, you start to lose yourself. So I was really like on the edge of, hey, I was in a great situation, a very low stress level, very low. Um, And now I'm starting, you know, from scratch. So as the two years went by, I'm like, damn near pulling out my hair. I'm just not figuring out how to still remain crystal. That means, you know, to, even if it's just a little twerk dance, you know what I'm saying? Because moms aren't supposed to twerk, even if it's having a cocktail, even if it's sleeping in late, even if it's in eating my food first, you know, all of these things that we take advantage of and we don't even, we take for granted, we don't know what's happening. Once you're a mom, you're like, oh, well, I'll remember later. Like, damn, did I take a shower today? Did I eat? Oh, no, no, no. I ate one of his nuggets. Like, it's not. You're really stepping back from your your field and just going straight to bat for your kids, which we're supposed to do. But not to the extent that we do it. Like, we need to be like, hey, you're going to wait. Give me five minutes. Still gentle parenting. But it's it's hard for the first two years, right? Because you're solely this person's provider. There's they, they can't talk. They can't tell you what they need. So they're fussing, they're tantrums, they're doing all of this shit. So I felt like after that two years and he started being gone more, um, you know, shout out to anyone that is getting a break. I know everyone does not get a break. I know that some of, some of the moms don't have even a present physical person there. So I, I really said my heart to you if you do not get that five minutes that weekend, that Tuesday. um, It's not it's not something that we should take for granted because I really do be feeling sorry for you bitches that live with y'all baby dad and your husband. Like I'll be like, when do you get a break to go to Target? Uh, Yeah, no, Um, I'm a big advocate for, hey, let's live separate even if we're together because I need a break from all of y'all. But um, I think that. When he started, Goliath started leaving more and Tuesdays was like free. I used to do nothing. I used to just sit there like, hey, I wonder what he's doing. Like, I wonder if he ate. Like, now I'm cleaning his toys. Now I'm doing laundry. I wasn't taking advantage of tapping back into who I am, right? So one day I just went to dinner by myself. And I was really nervous because I, as as in your face as it seems, I'm very much so an introvert. I very much like, I'm like this. And if I like you, I could do, like a loosen up a little bit, but I still, I'm socially awkward, just 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 a teeny bit, right? Um, so going to dinner by myself in a, a, a real restaurant, not like a little, we went and picked food up and I came back home. Like I went, I got dressed like I was going to a date. Um, I sat down, I ordered an appetizer, I ordered dessert, I, the entree to dessert, like the, the fucking coffee afterwards. Like I really started to um, nurture myself. Um, I started to romance myself, like still wearing pretty lingerie. And and at the time I was not dating because I seriously was mentally not in a space to, Should I, am I even in a space now? I think I am. But I think that I'm still like halfway up, like... No, I'm in a space now, but you have to come healing or healed somewhat. You have to come aware and you have to come with your own life because now in the last two or almost three years, the space that I created, the ambiance, the feeling, um, the scent, the comfort, the peace, it's really light in here. Like it's super light because can't nobody be running in and out of here. So if and when it happens, you can't be running in and out of here. Like on some, like you just, maybe you dropped off a bag. So I, I'm interested, but not, not too, not too deep. But anyway, so is it Tuesday? It's just not about going on fancy dates alone and going to the spa and getting our nails done. Like it's not that it's, deciding every day, like physically waking up and choosing to put me first, um, to disconnect from 
that anxiety of children, work, business, partners. Um, if my who didn't text me back, it literally has become a place where I unzip. And I, this looks scary as fuck. But remember, um, what was that scary movie when the girl was like, like this? That's what I thought about. Um, it's like you, what is it called? Grudge? Yes, yeah, like this. This is grudge. This is Tuesday. Me on Tuesday. Is it slow enough? And then you'd be like, bad bitch. Like, ta-da. Like you was a zombie all week. These fucking kids was wiping their boogers on you. Like, it's just like, girl. I'm so tired of us not understanding, like, you have to put yourself first. And if it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but for real, for me, every day, honestly, without me now feeling guilty, every fucking day is Tuesday. And that means that I'm celebrating me, even if it's for 10 minutes. I am making sure my oil's changed in my cars. I'm being responsible. So it's not just going to dinner, going to do this, going to do that, like, pampering myself. Because self-care right now on Instagram will have you motherfuckers broke. Because it looks like vacation every weekend. Cocktails and oysters. It looks like, oh, I got this and I got that. And look what I treated myself to. And it, it, it's not that. It Literally, you can sit in a house with a nice, inexpensive bottle of wine that is still, you know, knock the, knock the edge off. Maybe with a little toy. Because you don't want to be fucking with Troy. Somebody wasting your time. Fucking up your energy. Literally sitting down being real, writing down these things, doing that shadow work. And then you emerge. And it's almost like I really think of myself like a caterpillar. I really feel like those two years, right after the birth, like right, it may have started for real, for real six months during my pregnancy, from six months to two years. Completely a warfare in my mind. Completely. Like, check yourself into the hospital because these thoughts are draining me. Like, to the point where you almost consider, but you wouldn't because I'm not no weak bitch, but I, I feel that way. It literally was like, I was on the edge. Like, and it looked great and everything looked fine. And it was just like, are you really taking care of yourself? Are you really, only thing I miss, I'm gonna tell y'all, the only thing I miss in them two years is that I was, a, I was 20 pounds lighter. I was breastfeeding. I was thin. You can see this collarbone thing right here. So that's the only thing I missed. Sometimes I still want to be stressed because I feel like happy weight is real ghetto here. Like, stress me out. Stress me out, but not too much just to get this 20 pounds off and then go about your business. But really, for real, pour into yourself unapologetically. Pour into yourself um, even when your children are home, even when you're in a relationship and you love your partner, you cannot keep on pouring, 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 and then taking what's left. So whatever day is Tuesday for you, even if it's not a full day, even if it's getting up 30 minutes before the kids wake up for school to read a little bit, to do some meditation, to just get grounded, I really encourage any woman and you don't have to be a mom. And you can be a dog mom. You don't have to be a mom. You can be an auntie. You can be a stepmom. You can be a full filling mom. You can be a god mom. Whoever it is, as a woman in itself, stop pouring so freely. You pour in so much that when it's time to get your, your glass, there's nothing left. Like you're getting, you ever did that? Somebody came over, y'all, everybody getting drinks, blah, blah, blah. You pour some shit and it's this much left. Pour your glass first. Pour it first, put it aside, and then pour. So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever type of time you have or don't have, figure out how you can give yourself 10 minutes. And then later on, it's going to be 20. And then it's just going to keep going until you can finally say, okay, I have a full 30 minutes to 60 minutes to myself. But please, before you do anything, give yourself a full glass. So this week, I want you to do something. I want you to do something for yourself and then... Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to involve spending any type of money, right? And I want you to come and tell me what you did down there to give someone else that could be possibly listening to this podcast, watching. I want you to comment below. I want you to tell them something that you did at home to help relieve some of that stress. What was it that you really did, like really gave yourself this week? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next Tuesday.